What's up guys and welcome back. So you have a 1000 bucks to spend on a gaming PC. What parts should you pick? Keep on watching since I just built a 1000 US dollars gaming rig and test it in a few games. And since there are quite a few PC parts out of stock at the moment, I will try to provide some alternative parts you could use in your build as well. Before we get into it, a quick word from today's sponsor. VIPSEDKey.com has amazing deals on game keys from such platforms as Steam, Origin or Uplay. And more importantly, you can get a low cost Windows 10 Pro license key and get rid of that watermark on your screen forever. And I even have an additional 15% code for you guys. You can use a link from a description below or type Windows 10 Pro OEM in a search bar, click buy now and apply promo code. SKEGT. That's right, you will get a 15% discount from Windows 10 key price. Submit your order and you will be able to choose from variety of payment options here. Just use the one you like and that's it. You are free from that Windows 10 watermark forever. Alright, this time we will do a bit differently. Since I wanted to make this PC building process from a first person point of view, I've used my pretty old GoPro camera. And so don't judge video quality. Anyway, at first I will build this gaming PC and after that I will comment on each part that was used here and what alternative options you should be searching for. As well as you will be able to check popular game benchmarks at 1440p so you could have a better picture on how this PC performs. So let's start. A build process was nice and easy, especially working with this and ZXT case. But let's start our build parts overview. And here I've used one of the best all around CPUs currently available, Ryzen 5 3600. With 6 cores and 12 threads it's definitely a great gaming CPU. But it also manages to handle heavy workloads related to video editing or rendering. In case you want to save some money and go for a more budget CPU option, I would suggest searching for a Ryzen 5 1600 AF for a reasonable price or Ryzen 3 3300X in case you build this PC strictly for gaming. I've used a bit older MSI B350 Tomahawk motherboard since I already had one lying around, but you should definitely look for a B450 Tomahawk or even consider going for a new but more expensive B550 chipset motherboard. While we do not have many B550 motherboard reviews yet, it provides better compatibility with future Ryzen processors, as well as PCIe 4.0 support. 
A budget motherboard option, especially if you are going for a Ryzen 5 1600AF CPU, would be ASRock B450 or B450M Pro 4. These are great budget options and still provide a nice CPU upgrade path. But keep in mind, in case you want to use them with a 3rd gen Ryzen CPU, you will need to update motherboard's BIOS. Next up we have RAM. It's Hypex Fury clocked at 3200 MHz. But in general, you should go for 3600 MHz RAM with a 3rd gen Ryzen CPU if you can. But we got quite a nice deal on this kit, as well as it has an RGB, so I couldn't complain. But in case you are on a budget, 3200 MHz is really ok. Storage configuration is really up to your needs and budget. In my case, I had an older Samsung 960 EVO NVMe drive, as well as an older 2.5 inch hard drive. But for a similar build, I would suggest going with a 1TB NVMe SSD like Ruchel P1 or Western Digital Blue, since it's around 120 or 130 US dollars. And you can always add a high capacity hard drive later on. Even if you are on a budget, just get a cheap 250GB SATA SSD and a 2TB hard drive combo and you will enjoy fast boot drive as well as additional 2TB hard drive space for your games for under 100 US dollars in total. For a graphics card we have RTX 2060 Super from MSI. This particular model is really quite an awesome looking one and performs really well in games. Though for a similar price, you could look for a slightly faster RX 5700 XT as an alternative. It's around 9% faster compared to RTX 2060 Super, but you would lose ray tracing as well as CUDA course acceleration in video editing software if it's a thing for you. So in case these features are needed, stick with RTX 2060 Super. For a more budget option, you could get RTX 2060 Non Super, RX 5600 XT or RX 5700. As for a power supply, I've used Corsair RM750X, but it's a bit of an overkill. You can definitely go for a 650 watt gold certificate power supply or even for a bronze certificate in case you are on a tight budget. I will add a few alternative PSUs you could use in the description below. And I really love building in NZXT H510 case. It has a really clean look and feels like a quality product. It has quite some space for your cable management and really easy to build in. I will publish a separate unboxing and overview video dedicated to this case later on and I will link at the top right corner. As for a final blink touch, I've used cable extensions from a Deepcool and a few RGB fans from a Corsair. But in case you want to save some money, you should definitely skip those Corsair fans since they are quite pricey and NZXT H510 case has two included case fans. But if you wish to go for RGB fans, I really recommend looking into PC Cooler Halo or Deepcool RF120M. They are one of the best ones you can get for its price. Alright, let's jump into some benchmarks. All 8 games were tested in 1440p and the highest settings, as well as I've included a few 3 Mark benchmarks. For your convenience, you will find all the timestamps in the description below. But just you know, it's way better that you watch all of them so you could have a better picture of how this PC performs. So using a 1440p resolution, you will be able to enjoy AAA titles using highest settings as well as you could use competitive settings and play eSports games on high refresh rate monitor. Not even mentioning at 1080p you would get even more performance.
In case you have any questions or doubts, just leave a comment below and I will get back to you guys. In case you decide to build a similar or even more budget friendly PC as well, you will find all the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed it, do not forget to like, subscribe and click that bell button, since you will help to bring even more PC built videos to this channel. And see you soon!